Hello, this is Michael Loftus with Loftus Wealth Strategies. We're going to do a series of educational videos about the charts, signals, terms to make it easier to better understand some of my videos. I've been told I'm a little bit technical, but that is in fact true because this is what's called technical analysis. So first up, I'm going to talk about the S&P daily chart and two key indicators that I mentioned in almost every video. S&P daily at the top, momentum, and then relative strength. I have links below to each of these full descriptions. If you look at MACD, it's actually moving average, convergence, divergence, oscillator. Whew, that is a mouthful. What is it really? Momentum, plain and simple. The momentum of the market, and over here you'll see MACD, and then you see 12.26.9. 12 day moving average, 26 and 9. So 12 minus 26 and 9 day is going to be your baseline. So what am I looking for here? Simple crossovers. If black goes over red to the downside, that's negative. It goes the other way, that's positive. You can see here at the beginning of the year, we hit all time highs. We had a MACD crossover and of course the markets went down. We went back up here a little bit, okay, we saw strength, but we did not get above baseline. So that tells us that there's not a lot of strength or momentum there, and then we came down again. So we can see that. Next thing, we go back up, but we do go above baseline, so then we're able to capture some higher highs after our lows here. One more, we came down again, and then crossed over here. So same thing, right? We got the crossover kind of meandering along. There's a couple things here and that's why it went back up, but then we're eh, kind of sideways without a lot of momentum in the market. So that's number one, momentum MACD. Number two, RSI, relative strength, really the same thing, strength in the market. So the numbers here that are important are here, 14. It's a 14 day average of strength of the market. Couple other key numbers. Zero to 100 is your range. Really 30 to 70 are the key. 30 is your support. If you break below that, that means you are oversold. If you go above 70, you're overbought. Now you can hold that as you see here. We did hold for quite some time. That's actually positive for the markets. A couple other things that I'm looking for over here. One, if it breaks below 50, like it did here, holds 40, good sign, starts going up, that can be bullish. And as you see, held 40, started moving up, go to MACD, go to the markets, you can see how they all work together. So now we understand MACD and RSI, how do I use them or apply them to the charts? Simple, couple things. When a short term chart, daily chart, I will not use this to get in and out of the market because I'm not a day trader, of course. I will utilize it though when new clients come on board. We might be sitting in cash. I've got a few clients right now. I'm looking for an entry point. I don't particularly want to drop by at all time highs right now. Let's see if we get a positive crossover. If this market goes higher, I'll look to add some equities. So I will really use it on the short term to sell. And same thing goes for relative strength. So I'll use it for that for individual equities that I've been tracking, same thing. Then I can also look at it from a weekly view. When I look at it from a weekly view, you're gonna see a smoother line. Why? Because it's weekly pricing. So it's pretty smooth. Now, the one thing that I, I see here, going back to 14, 15, and 16. So that was our last meaningful correction. You hit your high, lower high, lower high, going down, but the market continued to go up. That's called negative divergence, and that tells you a bearish sign. So we're looking for that move down, and that's what happened here. Going forward, we've pretty much been positive since then. We broke down here after all time highs, and then we've turned back up. Again, won't make any moves on weekly charts here. And then I'm gonna go to my monthly view, and you're gonna see an even smoother chart. 
because it's monthly pricing. So here, here's your crash of 09. We got a positive crossover. So in this case, that would have been my entry point right there after the crash. Stayed with it, stayed with it. Okay, now here we almost, almost had a negative crossover. We did not, therefore we've been in the market. So I would use this on a negative crossover to determine if we move into correction territory as a signal to move out of the market. RSI right now, as you see, can sustain overbought conditions and we're a little bit overbought right now, but not to the level where we were going into last year. So hopefully you got a better understanding of the charts, momentum, MACD, relative strength, RSI. Thanks for watching, Michael Loftus, Loftus Wealth Strategies.